Hi everybody, my name is Delaney and I'm the Chief Naturalist here at Lost River Cave and I've got with me Tasha, who is our other naturalist at the cave. We are here in the animal room right now to discuss the care of the animals a little bit and actually show you guys some of the animals. We'll start out with Sal, as you can see right here, he is just about finished with his meal. Uh, Sal is an omnivore. He's also an Argentine black and white tegu. Sorry, I didn't mention it. But uh, he has to eat a lot of different proteins and also a lot of different vegetable and fruit materials. So he gets a variety like salmon. The oil helps him shed his skin. And then he needs uh, some turkey and some chicken since they love bird material. Then he also gets a variety of grains like... Um, uh, green beans, he gets uh, some zucchini, mm -hmm. a lot of really rich, good vegetables for them. Now, uh, we have to chop up his vegetables really small because he's picky and doesn't like them. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he also loves fruit. His favorite is papaya and mango and blueberries. You can actually see he's left a blueberry or two in there. He'll come back for those. Mm -hmm. But where he's at in this tank is his warm side of his enclosure. And this is really to mimic his natural habitat, which would be in South America. It's very hot there. Uh, his basking temperatures can get up to 100. 120 degrees and then on the other side of his tank it mimics his other natural habitat which would be underground these guys like to burrow and it has to be nice and moist and cool for them so we'll move on over here to the other side and Tasha you want to take it away with the tarantulas yeah of course so um, right here we've got two of our tarantulas now they're not everybody's favorite but they are fascinating animals uh, this first one we have right over here is our Chilean rose here tarantula and her name is Harry uh, and as you can see we've got lots of uh, enrichment items for them uh, we want to give them things for them to climb on kind of feel and and smell and all that other stuff and so you can see we've added lots of natural elements and this is what they would have out in the wild and we have over here a fuzzy which you probably won't be able to see her because she's well hidden but you can see a lot of webbing is going on in her enclosure um, that is so that she can feel when her prey is near her den and that way she can hunt for them and she loves crickets <laughs> and so we've got right up here we have bacon bits uh, and bacon bits is a western hognose snake and as you can see he just took a couple of drinks out of his water bowl um, but he is a desert dwelling species uh, and they are native to the U.S. Um, out in the western part of the country and you can see again he, they have lots of enrichment activities lots of things for him to climb over get into he even has a little sand pit in the middle um, because this species uh, they tend to burrow out in the wild uh, so we want to try and incorporate that into his enclosure. Uh, thank you all so much again for joining us and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the animals in their uh, habitats that we have here at the cave. <laughs>